and welcome to SnowRunner. So this is our first look at SnowRunner. Just bought the game, thought we would have a look at it. So what we're basically going to do is just take a look around. Oop, uh, take a look around and we are going to do a few of the missions. So wrong one. There we go, Matt. So we're gonna do a couple of the first missions, so we're probably gonna go and look for a watchtower first. So there is one just over here. So how do we add a destination? So if we press So add a destination. How do we do that? Ah, there you go. So we'll just make his way up here and we'll go and look for this watchtower up here. Let's go. I'm really looking forward to playing this. It's, uh, I played Mud Runner when it first came out and still play it a little bit every now and again. But I've been really looking forward to Snow Runner. It took me a little time to. Uh, it. So when driving through a rough terrain, you can switch to a lower gear. It'll show you, uh, slow you down, but will lower the risk of getting stuck. Hold LB and move. Right, okay. Just hold the left mouse button. Hold on, hold on. Ah, LB, that's it, yeah. The only problem between switching <coughs> between uh, controller and keyboard and mouse. Your truck. Oh, missed that one then. Never mind. Right, so. How do we flick it between all wheel drive? Wrong one. Ah, I see. Right, let's go. Right, so let's find this watchtower first. And then we need to try and find a truck so that we can get on with some missions. Look at the detail on this map, it is ridiculous. Compared to uh, Mud Runner, no much detail on it. Now oh, let's put it back in automatic. And we might be able to move a bit quicker. There we go. It's such a beautiful. Uh, Map. They've put so much detail into it. It looks so good. Right, so we're now on tarmac. Just wait there. Put the handbrake on. Let's just see where the next point is. Right, so the watchtower is up there. Maybe we should have gone this way. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll turn around. And we'll go up this way. Go get this watchtower. Put the route in. There we go. Right, we'll turn around and we'll go back that way and get the uh, <coughs> get the watchtower. And we can go and find the truck. I do like the level of detail they put into them, and they've actually got branded vehicles. It just looks so. It's just so good. You know, most, um, you know, like on Mud Runner, there was no particular brand of vehicles. Uh, I think there was in the DLC later, but in the early game, there was just no branding whatsoever. But in uh, in this, they've released it with full-on branding. It's really, really good. 
Right, so there should be a track up here somewhere. Yeah, I think this is it. See if we can make it through. Bit of a track here. Yep, there it is, found it. I like the uh, dynamic camera as well, it's uh, a lot better than on Mud Runner. On Mud Runner it was so, uh, you, you, it was so close to the truck on the cab, it was really hard to see what was going on around you. I just really like, I really like the fact that you can uh, zoom out and actually look around properly. It's another really nice feature for the game. Comparing the two. Ooh, we're gonna get stuck, we're gonna get stuck. Oh, we're out, good. We're off. Right. So. To the next round ahead. Right, okay. We've nearly got it. Oh, don't tell me we're gonna get stuck before we get to the watchtower. <laughs> oh dear. That is uh, some deep, deep mud. And we got through it. Watchtower opened. Okay. So let's see what we can see now. So, what have we got? There's nothing there. Let's make his way back down to the road and we'll head over to the next watchtower. Yeah, there is a way down there, yeah. We'll head his way all mm, saying that. Is that Can I move that? Yeah, there you go. I'm guessing we're probably going to have to go down here to unlock the next watchtower. So let's keep going. <coughs> wow, they've really gone all out with the uh, terrain on this on this uh, game. On um, Mud Runner, it was very. I wouldn't say flat, but the it was just sort of like short inclines, there weren't many big hills. But on this one they've really gone all out with it. They're proper mountainous areas. Quite impressive really. Let's get through this. Oh! Oh dear. Um, yeah, that's another really good feature that um, obviously I have been watching videos on this before recording it myself, uh, but the fact that it's got individual damage points rather than just damage as a whole to your vehicle is really nice. You can, in actual fact, um, <laughs> break a wheel and still have uh, three operational, which is uh, a nice feature, pretty cool. Find this puddle around here straight across because I'm assuming the other watchtower should be down here. That gets us speed on now. Being able to move. Right, so I think we've hit the end of the road on this one. So let's keep going down and we'll see if we can find that watchtower. Look at that water detail. The water detail is just so good. It looks so realistic. Really, really nice. I 
three. Keep going. And hopefully we will find this watchtower. Whoa! Keep uh, damaging the engine on this. <laughs> Never mind. Right, so how do we get to this watchtower now? So we have to go around here and we have to go up there. Right, okay. So we'll go down here. And then we need to go up here. Around. So we probably could have gone up the road and come around that way, but never mind. At least this is uh, a bit of a fun way. I like the new navigational system as well. It's a lot better than our mod runner. Uh, our mod runner, it, I think it allowed you to put down 10 points and all the navigation was just sort of like a red line that sort of clipped over trees and it just, it just wasn't very good. Whereas this one is uh, a lot better. I like the little blue markers that they put on the floor. Right, so we need to go this way. This hill. It's a bit steep, but this little truck can make it. Woo! That was uh that was buggy. I'm wondering though if the rain actually has any sort of dynamic effect on the ground. Does it make it more muddy? Does it make it more slippy? Something I would like to uh, find out. But we'll see as we go along. And here's the watchtower. We found it. Right, good job, you discovered the first watchtower. Discovering watchtowers will reveal parts of the map. To repair the bridge, you will need a bigger vehicle to transport materials. Open your map to look at your surroundings. Objective, find a truck capable of transpor transporting the materials you need to repair the bridge. Okay, so, let's open the map. There's the truck, that's what we're after. Let's find a route down. So really, we only had to go around there. We would have found it ourselves anyway, but never mind. Just like to make things long-winded, I suppose. We're going around here and then into here to find our new truck. Okay, so back down the hill we go. So currently I am playing this with um, a control pad, I'm not using the mouse and keyboard, uh, I'm just using the mouse for navigating the um, map UI, but I am using a controller, I am not 100% sure if it has wheel support yet, um, I will have a look into the settings and see if we can get the wheel set up for it, if not we'll just have to wait until well, if they do add wheel support, but if it is something we can do, it's something I will be doing. We'll be adding wheel support. Right, let's get down here and then we're back on pretty much straight road. Muddy but straight. And there's our first truck. There it is. You have found your first highway truck. 
This truck is designed for road so there are no off-road options included. Try not to fall into the swamp or drive into deep mud with it. You can find out more about the different types of trucks in the codex available in the menu. Okay. To enter the truck, open the functions menu by pressing up and select the change truck option. Okay. Change truck. I'm going to change over into the GMC. Good job. It's not the best truck for the job, but that will ha But that's it. What? It's not best truck for the job, but that it will have to do. That's yeah, good English. Uh, the company Steel River Township is waiting for you to repair the bridge. You can find contracts like this one in the map menu. Okay. So, let's see what we have to do now. Right. So, what have we got? So, town storage. There are other buildings. Right. So, objectives. Steel River Township. See a list of employers available in the current region of Michigan. They offer you contracts related to their activities. Let's see what Steel River Township proposes. Okay. Oil bridge reconstruction. Some contracts are locked. You can check the details of the contracts to, and find out how to unlock them. Let's take a look at old bridge reconstruction contract. So. Great, now you have a powerful vehicle for transporting heavier loads. The only problem is that you're cut off from the mainland. Rebuild the bridge so that you can reach the garage and get a real contract. Right, so we need to rebuild this bridge just here. So, by the looks of it, we need one metal beams and two planks. Okay, so where would we get the wooden planks from? So we get them from the lumber mill. So we need to come out of here And then over here into the lumber mill to pick up the wooden planks. We need two of them. So we'll activate that. We are now ready to repair the bridge. This truck has space for cargo. Every truck body or trailer has a different cargo capacity measured in slots. This truck is able to transport two slots of cargo. Objective. Find the materials you need to repair the bridge and deliver them to the building, bridge building site. Okay. Right. So, I have left the music on in this video for the purpose of um, letting you guys hear it. But in future videos, um, I will turn it off. Just so it's not annoying to anybody. I just left it on for the purpose of this video so you guys can hear it. We're going in here, right, so this is the lumber mill. This has no all wheel drive or diff lock. Right, so cargo management. We need wooden planks, is that all we can do? Yeah, we'll need planks. Okay, we're now loaded. Let's take it to the bridge. There is a fuel station there, actually. How much fuel have we got? Oh, we're fine for fuel. We've got quite a bit. We can always get some fuel later. Right, so we want to come out of here. So let's remove that marker there. And then we want to go down here. All the way down, back onto the main road, and then to here. Okay, let's back out of here, and then we can get a move on. I mean, this is an old GMC truck, but just look at the detail on these trucks, it is so good. 
really impressed. Really, really impressed. Okay, so let's get to the bridge and get it reconstructed. Right, so we're going straight round. Now, I know this is the first look and it is the first video and it may, for those of you who haven't played this yet or are looking to play it, it may seem relatively easy compared to, say, Mudrunner, um, but this is just sort of like the tutorial stage of getting used to everything and all that kind of thing, so this first part of the map is considerably easy, uh, considerably easier compared to the game as it gets going so just bear that in mind this is just sort of like the tutorial stage yeah but what I mean by looking at the detail just look at those flaps on top of the truck there when you're revving the engine that's just so good it's just really really good I love pipe covers on there uh, on trucks you just don't see them anymore Right, so we're nearly on the main road now. I'm gonna go down here, and then this should be a lot easier for this truck. There we go. And we are here. We need to drive into the box to drop the cargo off, I'm guessing. So, stop cargo management. Unload. I can't unload. Why is it not, um... Why is it not unloading? Cargo management. Load. Why is it not unloading? Oh, we need to steal beams first. So it makes you do it in a certain order, right? Didn't realise that. But we need steel beams. Where are we gonna get steel beams from? Guessing town storage. So we're gonna have to go back there, then pick up go back to the lumber mill, pick up the lumber. So it makes you do it in an order didn't know that so let's go to the town storage and then hopefully we can get the steel beams saying that it says ah right yeah right okay no nope, that's fair enough didn't know it did it in a certain order try that again turn it round And we'll head over to the town storage to go get some metal beams. May have to get a bit of fuel on the way back, but we'll see. I don't understand why it can't just let you drop them off. Um, I don't know. I'm not quite sure why they have to do it in a specific order. As long as the equipment's there, it's there. Right, we're going to be naughty and we're going to... Right, what does this say? Reading terrain. You'll encounter different kinds of terrain such as road, dirt, mud, deep mud, water, rock slide, rocky slide, sorry, snow and ice. Only the most experienced drivers with well-equipped vehicles can drive on any kind of terrain. When in doubt, there is no shame in avoiding danger. You can find out more about the different types of terrain in the codex from the menu. Okay, we're gonna smash through here and we're just gonna go for it. Come on. 
Let's go for it. He made it through, not a problem. Right, so this is the fuel station here. We're not too worried about that because we've still got 210 out of 240 litres. Not too concerned about that at the moment. It's going dark. Heading into night time. Actually, I'm guessing it's around the back of these buildings just here. So let's go around here. How do we unload this? Do we need to check it? Please don't tell me we've got to take it back to the... How do we unload? We've got to go and... Function. Move cargo. Ah, there we go. We can just remove it. Fine, right, so we want this. Auto load. And we're in. Right, let's get this up to the bridge. I think I remember the way. Right, so, future reference, we need to do this in a specific order, because that's the way the game wants you to do it. don't quite understand that, so if developers, if you're listening, maybe need to work on that one. That one might need changing. don't see why it has to have a set order of the way you've got to deliver it, but... Yeah, okay. Going through here again. Bridge is down there, and set just over there. off here now. Cargo management. Oh, let's put the amber on before we roll the way. Oh, unload. Yeah, you have to do it in a specific... Ah, that's why. You do a cut scene for every um, thing you drop off. Right, okay. Fair enough. Right, we now need to go get the wood from the lumber mill again. So, where was the lumber mill to us now? So, we need to go here, here, down here. Do the lumber mill. Okay. Let's go. Back out of here. And then we can go. Down there? Yeah, down there. 
see how this does on the terrain again. Yeah, this truck seems to handle itself quite well on these beginning areas. I can see it being less favourable as you get further into the game, especially with it just being a highway truck and not being really for off-road use. So let's get some lumber. Do the two pieces again for the uh, bridge. We we'll need two of them. Oh, what's happened then? Had a bit of a freeze up then. All right, so we need to come back out of here, up the hill. down the hill and then over to the bridge okay so LB and B to access ah there we go so we've got headlights now as well So this way and up the hill. Oh, it does get quite dark on here. <laughs> Camera just seems a tad glitchy. If you just sort of go past something when you're um got your camera in the wrong position it just seems to start glitching about a little bit something that needs a little bit of work I guess I must say this truck's performing really well. Quite impressed with it for a starter truck. <clears throat> but like I said, the this area I'm guessing is gonna be easy. It's more of a tutorial sort of zone. Alright, back on the main road now. Should make life a bit easier, we've only got to go a bit further down. Let's get this dropped off. And load. And bridge complete. Look at that. When you get enough experience, you can get a new driver rank. Every rank provides you with new options regarding vehicles and add on purchasing. Objectives may also require you to reach certain driver rank before you, before they are unlocked. Press F4 to access your driver profile. Every contract completed, every contract completed will provide you with money and experience points. Every watchtower discovered will reward you with experience. XP allows you to unlock new driver ranks necessary to unlock new vehicles and upgrades. 
you can track your progress from the profile menu. Okay. You repaired the bridge and completed your first contract. Now the town is reconnected to the rest of the region. Time to find the garage, which is now marked on the map. Okay, so let's find the garage. Where is the garage? It says it's marked on the map. So the garage is there. Let's go down. Yeah, let's go down here. Go along here. I'm guessing we're probably going to have to come around here towards the, to get to the garage. Alright, let's go. How did we turn our lights on now? I've forgotten. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll figure it. Oh, put the handbrake on. How did we turn the hand lights on now? Ah, there we go. Got it. Alright, so let's go find our garage. Ooh, got power lines down. Oh dear. So we can't go that way. Can't go that way. Okay. It looks like we're going to have to cancel these. Gonna have to go back. We'll go this way, I think. Yeah. So let's turn around. And we'll go back. It seems that there's gonna be lots of obst obstacles along the way. We've got to sort them out to progress through the map so that it makes it easier for us to get through certain locations to get from A to B easier. So it's kind of like in Mudrunner but with Mudrunner it was more just a case of just unlocking the area where you were uh, going to uh, on the map so you could just see where you were going. Which has still got that function on here. So, we're going down here. Right, and where next? So, the garage is there. So, if we go this way. Hopefully, the truck can make it. Unfortunately, this truck doesn't have any kind of all-wheel drive or diff lock. So if it gets stuck in the mud, it's going to get stuck in the mud. Oh, it's struggling a bit. Not too bad, though. Right, so we're going to follow this road and see what we unlock. The kind of flooded farm there. Looks like flooded farmland around here. A bit of marshland. Right, let's see where we're at. So, garage is there. We'll just keep following this road for now and see if we can find a road that comes off towards the garage. Oh, 
would be better if it was daytime and we could see a bit more clearly. Oh, I suppose we'll have to put up with the night for now. Oh, so I'll keep going this way. Hopefully we will find a turning that will take us towards our garage. We do with unlocking the watchtowers. Right, not impressed by that road there. Right, so it looks like there is a road here. And that should take us up to our garage. Good. If not, we might be able to go through that farm. We'll find out. This was a bad road to go. Yeah. Where can we attach a winch to? Absolutely nowhere by the looks of it. Well, guys, it looks like we are. A bit stuck. We don't have all wheel drive, so stop giving me the reminder. <laughs> see, then this is the downside to driving at night because I couldn't see how boggy that that was. Right, I might have to recover us, I think. So let's get recovered. So we're back over near the lumber mill. We need to get up to the garage, which we can't get that way because of the block power line. Maybe I should have just carried along that road there then. And that would have took us up to the garage. Never mind. Right, anyway guys, I'm going to leave the video there. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more uh, content on SnowRunner, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will uh, catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.